Hey, this is Math 8, Unit 5, Lesson 12, called How Much Will Fit? Okay, and this first question here is a nice from um, kind of summary of your lesson. And it says, here's a box of pasta and a cylindrical container. The two objects are the same height, right? Doesn't matter what it is, but the same height, okay? And the cylinder is just wide enough for the box to fit inside with all four vertical edges of the box touching the inside of the cylinder. Okay, so what's that mean? It means we could put this box inside of here and it's going to touch all the edges there perfectly. It's going to fit inside. Now, if the box of pasta fits eight cups of rice, so we have eight cups of rice inside of there, estimate how many cups of rice are going to fit inside the cylinder. So the question is, how much many cups of rice do you think are going to fit inside there? If this can fit inside of here, then how much uh, additional is going to fit in there? For sure, you know you're going to have at least eight, right? <laughs> you're going to have eight, but you're going to be able to have some more because there's going to be some space around the edges. Think about if you had a circle and you put a square inside of it like so. You're going to have space here, 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 and here. And since you're talking about a cylinder, that space is going to be all the way up as well. So give it a good estimate of what you think that could be. All right, moving down here. First of all, we have some simplified questions here. We had some of these yesterday in our homework as well. So let's take a look. On this first one here, we're going to distribute the 1 fourth all the way through there. Or another way of thinking about it is dividing by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. So we could have 1x negative 8 divided by 4, or 8 divided by 4 is 2, and a negative divided by a positive is a negative. And 32 divided by 4 is going to be equal to 8, and it's a positive and a positive, so a positive 8 there. All right, so we can combine like terms, which are right here. So we have x is by itself, and we have negative 2 and a positive 8, which combine to make a positive 6, and that becomes our first solution. On this one over here, this is a great one here because we also have the 3 on top. So, yes, we're going to divide by 4. Okay, and you can do that first of all. Let's divide each of these by 4. Is that okay? So, let's do 8 divided by 4 is 2. And keep the x. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So, plus 1. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So, we took care of the 4. But let's remember we still have a 3 here. So we'll keep the 3 there. And now we'll multiply the 3 all the way through. 3 times 2 is 6x. And you're going to kind of do that there. So that's the first step is to get that 4 um, to go away, basically. And now we're going to distribute the 3 and work that out for a solution. So I just wanted you to get started there. This is a great one with that 3 fourths. 8 is just like 6. Again, you have the denominator of 2. So we'll divide everything by 2. This one here, you can go ahead and combine those first if you like, because that's going to be a lot easier to combine and then divide by 2 than to do it sec second. So I would recommend starting right there and combining those like terms. All right, over here, number 2. Uh, we have t a couple problems. We actually, we have several of them. The same. I'm going to go ahead and do number 2, and I'm going to do 5 with each today. So for the first one, I may distribute 4 times 3a is 12a, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, and then we're going to add 48, that's going to equal 2 times negative 5 is negative 10a, 2 times 1 is plus 2, and we have a minus 6 there. Okay, I'm going to combine some like terms on each side, so 12a is all by itself here, a negative 48 and a, a negative 8 and a positive 48 combined to make a positive 40, 48 minus 8 is 40. Over here, the negative 10a is just by itself, and I have a minus 6 and a plus 2, so that combines to make a minus 4. And now we gotta move some things around. So let's add the 10a to both sides, which leaves me with 22a over here. And on this side, let's subtract 40 and subtract 40. Notice the signs are the same. So I'm going to find the sum and keep the sign the same. So 40 plus 4 is 44. We divide both sides by 22. So that A equals negative 44 over 22. Well, what do you know? 22 goes into 44 
two times, so we end up with simply negative two as a solution. All right, number three and four, you can work those out. A lot of distributing there and combining like terms. Great practice, you do three and four. Let me do five, so at least you have one more in case you got stuck on something here. All right, have confidence, you can do those things. I know, it's, I know you can. So here, let's go ahead and combine our like terms first. I got a B and a B right there. So a three and nine make 12 Bs. Then I have a negative three and a negative 14. The signs are the same, so I find the sum and keep the sign the same, so minus 17. On this side, I have a minus 12 and a minus four. Those combine to make a negative 16. I find the sum and keep the sign the same and the 4b is just by itself 4b. Now we're going to move things around so that we can have a b on one side and a whole number on the other. So I subtract 4b from both sides. 12 minus 4 is 8b. Let's add 17 to both sides over here. So this goes away. Negative 16 and a positive 17 combine to give you just 1. We divide both sides by 8 and we find now that b equals 1 eighth. And that's it for that one. Okay, that's it for today. Have a great day and hope that helps you out. We'll see you next time.